name's Rafael Diaz. I'm currently assigned to East District Middle Shift. Been working here a little over four years now. Um, I originally didn't um, have uh, the idea to become a police officer. I actually wanted to be a, I wanted to be an FBI agent. Um, I had no idea how to even go about doing that. So when I graduated high school, I went to IUPUI and I figured I'd just major in criminal justice. That seemed like the right thing to do. So I majored in secondary Spanish education. Um, and I graduated from IUPUI, went through my student teaching, and I, I didn't like it at all. I actually ran into an IMPD officer at Warren uh, that was working part-time there. And, you know, I, I asked him a little bit about it, and he told me, he's like, he, once he found out that, you know, I was student teaching for Spanish, you know, he told me about the need for uh, Spanish-speaking officers. And, you know, it, was, it wasn't the military, you know, but it had military concepts behind it. And um, it was my opportunity also to, to serve the community uh, in a different aspect. So went through the process, took a while to get, to get hired, uh, but eventually got hired, went through the academy, and was assigned to East District right out of, right out of uh, training. The academy, it was tough. Uh, the training was tough. I knew it would be. Um, I figured it'd probably be something similar to, to a boot camp. You know, I never really experienced anything like it. I've been in sports, and, you know, I've been pushed past my exhaustion point. Um, but just the added stress uh, of the academy, making sure that, you know, you, you do good, that you're always given 110%. Um, you know, that, it was stressful, you know, it was stressful, but it was, it was great training, you know, it was the first time I ever uh, I shot a weapon, uh, it's the first time that I was, you know, involved, you know, in a fight, you know, physically, you know, fighting someone and, you know, simulating that, the aspect of the real, of, of what, something that could happen in the, in the streets, you know, and making sure that we're prepared uh, for the dangers of that. Being a, pol a, pol a police officer to me, uh, it means a lot. It's it's a it's a huge responsibility um, that the city is expecting of me. Um, you know, it's a responsibility of you know being able to help someone at their at their worst moment in their life, um, and also just the camaraderie that you have with the officers you work with, and you know just knowing that you will have that person's back. Uh, no matter what happens. Um, being a, mi a minority officer, a Latino officer, uh, you know, has had its advantages, uh, may, you know, especially on the streets with, you know, arriving on a scene and being able to break through that language barrier um, and kind of giving s someone the sense that, you know, wow, I, can, I have somebody I can talk to, they're gonna understand me. You know, I, I strongly believe in, in using, uh, you know, the talents that you're given, you know, and this is a, you know, a tool that, that I've been provided, um, you know, being able to be bilingual and, you know, it's, it's helped dramatically, especially in, in the area where I work now. Just in the last three years, the Latino population has just exploded in this area and um, it's just grown immensely. And, you know, I've, I've been able, I, I know a lot of the Latino families, they feel more comfortable calling us uh, because they know that there's an officer out there, Officer Diaz, they know that, he, that I'm out there. They, you know, they ask me for my personal number, or they'll ask me for a card and because they, they feel that sense of trust. I mean, there's so many opportunities for you to do whatever it is that you want to do, whatever interests you, um, whether you want to try out for SWAT or try out for K-9, Bomb Squad, ERG, uh, just anything. That's the good thing about a big department. You know, it's just the opportunities that you have uh, compared to a small department. You know, there's, I mean, I've ran into so many people that I would have never had the chance of even meeting, you know, or even knowing that these problems uh, are out there, you know, if I wasn't doing my, if I wasn't doing uh, this type of job and you know, just knowing that, you know, you can get to know them, you can 
try to help them better their life or you know help them with a problem or anything like that uh, you know that's what that's what makes it appealing to me 